The Vexor Robotics Competition World Championship is a collection of the best teams in the world competing in a robotics competition that really just started out of the classroom. The reason we created it is because we wanted to channel a students' passion about competition and their love of robotics to really get them interested in science and technology. And what's so cool about this being a truly global event is we have kids working from kids on the other side of the globe and they're totally just treating each other as equals and there's no communication gap because they're all speaking the same language of robots and STEM and it's just really neat to see all these passionate people get together because when you combine passion and talent that's just a sick combo. Not only are we meeting these different people from all around the world, we're also enjoying and learning how to build and program. You team up with teams who speak English, who speak Spanish, Chinese, but we all speak the same language of robots. I think that's really interesting. It goes beyond robots. It's about the whole experience. So having that exposure at this age really makes them much more comfortable because they know what to expect in the real world. Bex leads you into many different kinds of roads. Medical, engineering, everything. Slowly, robotics is being developed in every work position. And you can do anything from helping robots who lift up cars or having robots who can apply makeup on somebody who has a disability. We have students that are going into mechanical engineering, we have students going into software engineering, and they're really looking at those STEM careers beyond high school. I work in the Signal Corps, which is the IT arm of the Army, where the robots actually go and deploy and they identify and detonate landmines. So this kind of training, this kind of uh, energy, and this kind of passion will actually translate into something that's uh, productive, that helps save lives. But we rely on innovative thinkers that are able to take problems that have not been solved before from scratch and come up with those complex solutions. And by investing in STEM education, we're really investing in our own future as well. I can tell the kids that are coming out of here are kids that I can hire at Google. They know how to work in a team. They know how to program. They know how to deal with real world systems. They also know how to deal with failures, more importantly. The VEX Robotics Program um, encourages them to become good all-rounded engineers who are able to take a design, concept it in CAD software, build prototypes, do some testing, build a final model, and then when we come to competitions, they've got to be able to speak to judges, speak to other teams, articulate their design and their intention. As a mentor to a team, I also learn new skills every time I work with the students. I've gained two promotions at work, because I've been able to demonstrate in interviews that I have these management skills through Vex Robotics. The thing is we enjoy, it's not like a thing we're forced to do, we want to be there. Technically, robotics is every Thursday lunch, but we're there every day. <laughs> once you get started and once you're passionate about it, you can't stop thinking about it. These kids are just having fun, and that's the whole thing about Vex Robotics. They're having fun and they don't even realize how much they're learning. And that's what we're trying to build out here. We want students to know that no matter where they come from, they're welcome and they're part of the future. About 40 years ago when I started thinking about this stuff, I had no way to imagine that I would show up in a place where there's tens of thousands of people having a big time doing this stuff. And it looks as though the tipping point may have been reached. We may, in fact, be about to change culture.